Hey there, uh, got a haircut, got a beard trim, and uh, it's been a little bit, so coming back to Hearts of Iron 4, and we're going to continue the fight here in China. Um, thanks for coming back, sorry I missed Monday's release, uh, but here we go, we're going to do two on Wednesday, so hopefully that'll make up for it. Alright, um, if I remember right, and I hate it when you're watching a YouTuber and you, you know, you're just going through the episode, so you get to the next episode and you, you already remember what they're watching. So if you're watching this after, like, this whole series done or whatever, um, sorry, I'll, I'll try to keep these down to a minimum. But it has been over a week since I played. Um, I went to a work conference last week and I wasn't able to play, so... Anyways, here we go. I remember that we got some stuff going on here, and I did I did watch the tail end of the last episode, so um you know, I do I do remember kind of what's going on. I don't know we're gonna try and do this risky push in here, maybe try to push out all the way to uh Japanese controlled China. And I'm not sure what we wanted to do here. I think my plan was to try and get uh Zengzu. I'm not sure how to say that correctly, so I apologize. Um but, you know, maybe try and cut these guys off, because that's quite a few divisions. I don't know how many are here, but that's definitely, that's four. Um, it'll be a tough, though, for sure. Well, actually, I don't know for sure. <laughs> we'll have to see. Okay, um, I think we're ready to take it off pause. We don't have anything except for low manpower up here to be aware of. Okay, yeah. Well, whatever. We don't have the hugest population. Okay, and I'm on the wrong ones. Let's do... Okay, so these are for Communist China... All right, in the north. Okay, so I think we're ready to go. Three, let's uh, yeah, let's do it. Three, three is fine. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Three. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready to finally start. Let's do this. Okay, all right, we got this going on here. All right, what is this? Is hills and it's hot. Uh, Hindenburg. Okay, bummer. Claims thirty-five lives. It's not really the world's worst tragedy, but I can see how it would stink. All right. Uh, okay, right, we need these Mountaineers to go into here. Let's do that and let's have them supported by some infantry. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Alright. Hopefully we'll be able to push these guys out. Uh, this side. And at least then we'll have the river to defend from. I don't really want to defend, though. I mean, it'd be great to push across. And we might be able to if we make a gap here. That will probably have to work in conjunction with our guys down south here. So let's. Uh, no, it looks like there's too many divisions almost, and they're kind of getting. They're kind of escaping as they need. Let's get these guys up here. No, nope, go that way up to the river and cross. I mean, the risk here is that you know there's no one defending this area, and also we're gonna get tied up in that fight. So that's not a super smart of me, but you know, I never claimed to be super smart at this. Okay. Mm, yeah, let's not do that. Let's just take these mountains here. We'll win that fight. We'll win that fight for sure. And this one. Oh, good. Great. Oh, oh, geez. What just happened? Okay. Not made of power factor resources are added by events. This will affect all nations of the world, including ones controlled by AI. If you want to change this later setting, you'll need to use this console command. Event focus dot o. What? I uh, continues focuses a little out of my comfort zone. Um, let's enable. Let's enable. Let's let them do continuous focuses or whatever. Okay. In 1936, France recovers slowly from the economic crisis that hurt the country in 1931. The unstable political situation, the high amount of unemployment, and the public deficit are already challenging for the government. Unfortunately, the fast inflation caused a franc of overestimate. It provokes a, an economic crisis and two-thirds of exports collapse. With the general capital evasion and the resistance of some employers, the situation is alarming and the disillusionment of the working class for politics is already huge. Okay, so what do we lose? Uh, shoot, we lose some political power every day. Oh, ooh, geez. Uh, attempt to force France to cede into China. Due to back being fascist, the chances are slim and it might even backfire. Oh, geez. Press has unveiled the war, uh, 
Laval Pact into the public eye, which is being conducted behind their backs. France and Britain, eager to stay in good grace with Italy, have been negotiating a deal with Mussolini for a quick conclusion to the second uh, Italio absent Absinian War with Ethiop Ethiopian concessions. This is in hopes of maintaining the nation's independence, but it has been done without their knowledge. It has caused an uproar from both the right and the left, denouncing it as appeasement to Mussolini. Oh, jeez. Um, sorry about that. Uh, that would leave Ethiopia as little more than a puppet state. Albert Sarah will lead until the next elections. Okay, sorry about my phone going off there. Alright, um, I guess we have... I thought we already had... Oh, okay, we have a new leader. Saro. Saro, I think this would be the proper pronunciation. Okay, uh, let's try this. Let's try this now. We're going to win this mountains, and let's just go ahead and pause. Let's get... Hmm. Let's get this guy's going across. No, bummer. Well, maybe maybe we can still win. Okay, now we have a real China, uh, Japanese yeah, division there, so no bueno. Try again. We're not really doing... We're not going to really, like, cut anything off there, but we might be able to link up and make this a whole front. But darn it, that exact thing that I said is happening where we're losing the, uh, let's just wrap this fight up and we'll bring these guys down south. They're going to punch a hole through our lines here, which is not good. It's no bueno. Who are these guys? Hmm, okay. It's, like, super close to this color. Okay. Uh, we got some unassigned divisions here. Take us, take me back to France. All right, let's double check this, guys. The blue army—that's our motorized and uh, armored divisions. Here's our infantry. Okay, we're gonna throw those guys on the uh, Alpine border, uh, l'ami des Alpes, because they need to—they uh, need to be reinforced for sure. Okay, these guys are across the river. It's sort of good. I mean, we're just too stretched out, though. So, right, let's try something. Let's try some sneaky breaky over here. What's going on with these guys? Are they? What's the dealio dudes? Oh, attrition. Okay. All right. Okay. Making some progress, but the, unfortunately we just don't have that many divisions to, uh... Oh, shoes! Ho-ho! <laughs> let's, uh... <laughs> let's take a little sneaky peek down here. Don't really... Oh, man, I remember our little fail a couple episodes ago down here at this port. Um, yeah, China's not looking too spiffy here. Let's let's see if we can't send these guys. I don't know. Oh, we have more unassigned. Okay, good. Three of them. That'd be perfect, almost. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can send the other Chinese factions some volunteers, namely the Guangxi Click. All right, uh, send volunteers. Let's do it up. Do it up. All right, good. So let's add one more to these guys. I forgot we could do four, not three. So, hmm. yeah, let's take one off of this. Unfortunately. Well, actually, let's see how many how many good tanks they have. Okay, they're good. They're up to date. So these guys, yeah. Okay. So them, and then these guys. Let's give them a commander. Uh, who do we want to send? Um, well, I think if we look in the south of China, there's not really any mountains to speak of. Well, okay, I was wrong. <laughs> Ah, hills, hills, yeah, okay, so not mountains, per se, a couple, so let's, let's not worry too much about that, let's get, um, uh, let's just try and train this guy up, I suppose, and then we'll send him to China, alright, le gentil homme, Paul the gentleman, <laughs> alright, so, okay, they're gonna allow, and when do we show up? We show up. Salt the Ooh, jeez, here we go. Alright, alright, alright. This is kind of good news. Alright, Kingdom of Romania joins French faction. Our plan to stop the little Entente Alliance from falling apart. And wait for us to make progress. Georges Tatarescu? Ah, man, I wish I... I know that uh, Romanian is a, is a Latin language, but 
I'm not good on the pronunciation. Approves of our efforts and has accepted our invitation to an alliance. Great. A Munich conference. Oh, geez. Here we go. This is where it gets a little serious, and I wish I hadn't just sent those volunteers, because they're just coming right back. All right. German demands for the state and region of Czechoslovakia, where a significant number of ethnic Germans live, have come to a head. Hitler has positioned forces across along the Czechoslovakian border in order to prepare for an attack. Talks are being held in Munich between Britain, France, Italy, and Germany in the hopes of negotiating peace to end a peaceful end to the Sudeten crisis. The British have made it clear that they have no intention of going to war over a quarrel and a faraway country. Those limey bastards. Should we follow their lead, or will we honor our obligations to Czechoslovakia by offering them support? We, the British be damned. British be damned, because we're going to help our friends. We are not starting the little entente for nothing. Um... And I think that we still keep our faction. Yeah, but, I mean, those forts are going to be great. So we're going to damn the British. All right. Uh, opinion of German right goes down 50. Uh, German right gets uh, the war goal. And then we get better relations with Czechoslovakia. Okay. So, okay. So, we've gotten to the Munich Conference. And we have three allies in the east. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Having Poland would have been great, but just widening that front for them, for the Germans, even more. But, you know, there's only so much we could do. All right, let's see. what Who do we have on here? Ooh, good. Perfect. Well, kind of perfect. Let's take these guys off. And then throw them. Uh... Do we need him in white? No, we don't need him in white. White has plenty. That was that was a mistake. Okay. All right. National focuses. Where did we leave off? We got a lot of um, economic ones to do over here. We can invite Poland's. And we might need to. <laughs> as as wow as that sounds. I don't know if we need to, but we should, shouldn't we? What is this? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So we can declare war on them. Gotcha. Um. Man, we're so close. It's nerve-wracking to not go for Poland because we're so close to war. I, I but we're not going to get them before the war starts. So. But they could be like, you know, they could swing the balance just right. So it's a tough call. It's a tough call. <laughs> Dang it, what do I do? Uh, let's go with... We're so far behind over here. Scary. Scary looking. Uh, what do we get? We get uh, early mobilization, which grants... Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Let's just get that. We'll get Poland next, I think. All right, Sudeten crisis. German demands for the Sudeten border territory of Czechoslovakia, which is um, to a considerable German minority, have it intensified recently. Okay, the free world is depending on us. Oh, a rift has formed between France and Britain. Sure has. With Britain accepting the German claims as reasonable, will France is not. The French have war formed a new alliance with the Czechs and threatened Germany with war should its troops violate the Czechoslovakian border. The free world does indeed depend upon us, friends. Holy crap, look at that political power. <laughs> I think that was one of the side effects I didn't mention uh, from the get-go, was that uh, we lose 100 political power, and we only had 31, apparently. Okay. Uh, let's unpause. I think that means war. And I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna pull these blue guys. Um, let's, let's take some of these guys. Alright, actually, I'm gonna pause for just a second. We're gonna take a few of these guys... And what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't really want another reserve division. Here we go. Split them off. All right. These are going to be. Uh, we're going to send them to this border with. Uh, oh, geez. Yugoslavia and Germany. And let's send somebody pretty good. We don't want a desert fox. There's no deserts there. These are all infantry. So we don't really. Need anybody with too good of... Uh, like, we don't want a, a panzer leader. Uh, let's just send Giro. 
all easier. Let's get these guys down here. Okay. Oh, jeez. So, there we go. Do I do I have any ship things to take care of? Not there. No, not there. Okay, good. Um, and then blue. Where do we want blue at? I don't think we need this line. I don't think they're gonna. Let's see what they've. If we can even take a peek. Okay, they're doing that stuff. I mean, obviously, we can't tell what they have done, right? Yeah. Jeez, oh, Pete, this is new. Holy cow! <laughs> All right. Um, but I think yeah, we're gonna take the blue guys off. So let's. Let's do that. And we're going to have these guys. We don't have like access up through here yet, so we have to go through Yugoslavia. They're going to go all the way around to Czechoslovakia. They're a little faster. One and two. They might be able, we might be able to do something here. Uh, cut off Silesia. What did I say? <laughs> it sounded weird. Might be able to cut off, is what I meant to say. Silesia. And um, yeah, so let's get these guys. Um... Down here, I suppose. No, down here. There we go. Okay. So, oh geez, no oh, auto save. Okay. But that was something else. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Oh geez. Let's get a. Uh... These guys? No, we don't really. We don't really want to leave this corner undefended. Nah, eh, that was stupid. Dang it! <laughs> okay, as soon as that's done, go, go, go. All right. Yeah, because if we want somebody across the river, we want the mountaineers to be across the river. That way, they have more. Oh, you, you Chinese. Japanese, oops, Chinese are our friends. Alright, what do we got going on? Unassigned divisions? Good, good, good. What do we. Oh, perfect. For our very measly Alpine line. Kinda needed that. And then where are these guys? Who are these guys? Oh, Garrison. Derp a derp. So it looks like in everything that we've been doing in the south, in the north here, it's just been kind of counter, counteracted in the south, since that naval invasion of theirs pretty well. Come on now, we got a boys. Ah, oh. all, right, all right, all right, just hold tight. We can only win so many battles. Come on. What is this? Oop. All right. Here comes our new boys in the south here. Oh, jeez. In this little island? Great. It's, uh... Why can't I enter my own province? It's mine, isn't it? Yeah. It's weird. Oh, I did add tanks. Oops. Maybe not oops, but I did not realize that. Here we go, free military factories, woohoo! Always a good sign. 6,000 short there. And so many short here. We're short on everything! Except for total artillery. <laughs> Which I, I think will be short on pretty soon. Um, Alright, let's do planes. Oh, and we gotta take care of this now. What do we need? Rubber! And I really wish we owned uh, Indochina. That would be great. Uh, da, ba, 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 ba. There we go. I'm gonna cross a little, take a little dip across the water here. Okay, we want to save this Soviet division for sure. What do we want? Oh. oh boy, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Woo! German Reich declared war on Czechoslovakia. We are going to accept. All right. Okay, great. Everyone joins. Good, good, good. 
Air rings with no mission. Let's take care of that. Right away. Oh, woof. Uh, let's do these guys first. Wait, hold on. I only have 25 of my new fighters? No! That's so bad! Alright, well, here we go. Um, I guess, let's, yeah, let's just defend for a minute. Oh man, we need somebody going though. Yeah. And let's see here. We just want we want no retreat and air superiority. Oh jeez, so many new options here. Ding. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. And this place we want air superiority. And we want strategic bombing, I believe. Um Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. I'll just do normal and normal. And let's just do day. We don't need to mess around at night. Who else doesn't have missions? Okay. Let's have you go in here. Two naval strikes. Sounds good, sounds good. Takes care of our air wings. Alright, let's get these guys. Um, hmm. We want them doing search and destroy here. And we are just, yeah, let's, no, let's see here too. Okay, these guys are going to do convoy rating here and here and here. Sounds good. These guys, come on, are going to do convoy rating here and here. Let's just call it those two. Yeah, okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's get these guys. We want them right there. Let's get these guys. Yeah, Biot. We want to get them. Let's try Let's get them even more southerly so they can just shoot right across to get up into southern Czechoslovakia and dig in. All right. And this is a tough call, because if I move this, these divisions from Africa, then we leave the, you know, our, our African holdings pretty open to attack by Italy. But let's see, if, I don't think they're in the faction yet. So, no faction, yeah. So, we may, we may just send these guys to Yugoslavia to help defend as well. Huh. Okay, these guys are just defending, though. And we're going to really just hope that uh, they don't do the around Maginot thing just yet. Okay. Uh, I need to call my puppets into the war. Call two arms. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Tunisia, you're also a puppet. Call two arms. Thank you, thank you. Syria, how are you doing? Nope. Let me call two to arms. And how about Lebanon? You want to too, don't you? I know you do. Okay. And uh, yeah, I think everything else is still French proper. Okay. No, no, no. Just give me the, give me the. <laughs> there we go. Call to arms and yep, European war again. Okay. So yeah, we lost our divisions over here, right? We're not doing this fight anymore. Yep. Bye bye now. We'll have those dudes jump over into Eastern Europe, most likely, as soon as they get done. All right. Okay, national focus bypass, preventive intervention. Okay, so we have... That basically just gives us... We can make Germany a puppet now, uh, if we win. So that's exciting. France has called them out as our ally. Good. Yep, yep, yep. That's all. Bingo, bango, fino. Okay. Oh, for the love. Come on. Italy joined action. You can invite to faction. Who can I invite to faction? Ooh. Okay. So I can I can make my puppets. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Uh, okay. So if we do that, you can call each other to war. Hmm. I mean, I don't really see the point. The point. I mean, they all... Are we at war with... Let's see, are we at war with them yet? 
Not yet. They haven't declared. So, Italy, we're going to have to hold tight here. Dang, that looks like a bumpy ride. Let's do some more of these guys, though. I think we're doing in Central Sud. Okay. Whew, it's a little nervous. And I'm just probably bet nothing has happened yet. Yeah, okay, okay. It's not going super hot in Yugoslavia. Need that to get done ASAP. Alright, alright. Oh, geez. Hungry joint axis. Great, now we have this, like, enemy right in the nest of all of our allies. That really stinks. Uh, wants to join our faction? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. You want to, too, don't you? Yes, you do. I know you do. It's the hot new craze. Alright. Yeah, everybody's in. Welcome to the party, everybody! Okay, I don't want to control their forces yet. Syria or Lebanon. Tunisia? No, I think we'll let them be. Morocco? No, as well. But we may need to grab up these guys over here. Because that's, that's a lot of good units that are... Well, I don't know about good, but... You know. Units. <laughs> Alright. Ah, uh, come on, let's get these let's get these boats moving, boys. Mm, boys. Okay, so Italy is now our enemy, and that's really scary because we have all these divisions moving across open water. Uh, so let's just hope that nothing goes too terribly wrong there. Okay, dockyards, what do we want, what do we want? That's fine. I don't really care right now. Missing equipment, what do we need? Torpedo bomber. Mmm... Don't really care right now either. Just don't have factories for that kind of mumbo jumbo. You know, I'm, a, I'm even gonna just grab these guys and put them in the Red Army as well, just to shore up somewhere. Okay, so geez, we're at war with Italy, Germany, Hungary, and. Those three, yeah. Well, that's still that's still very dangerous. We got some good fights, but we have a lot of losses going on too. So we need to hurry up and get our butts over there and get some progress made. That's what I'd say about that. Yeah. Okay. Wait. Oh, shoot! These guys can go now, right? Yes. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. And who else? We had, do we have someone else ready to go? No, I don't think so. I'm thinking I'm, of uh, these guys, but they're not certainly not going to go up against like twice their number. Okay. Oh no, subs! Come on! Hightail it out of there! Did I just... No, I didn't lose them. Okay. I might lose these guys, though. Alright, let's get in the protection of those uh, Yugo cruisers. That's pretty nice. Alright, these guys are going to land soon. Alright, alright. What do we got going on here? Defeat? Is that a defeat? Defeat, yeah. Shucks. What's going on? Okay. What? We're down to two subs? Are you kidding me? Wow, I did not read that uh, description very well. That blows my mind. Okay. Yeah, what do we have going on here? I hope we can win that. I really do. Okay. I'm gonna take this real slow for a minute here. Come on now. You got it. Okay, maybe two. Jeez, oh, Pete's one sub left. That's crazy. What? Go already? Oh, it's because they're so huge, right? The the, the areas are so huge. Jeez, oh, evil convoys. Well, uh, shocks. I need some more subs, like now. All right, let's do. Let's get those guys back to. Oh boy, subs, subs. We need subs. We have naval experience. Holy cow, we have some naval experience. Let's um, 
Let's give these guys a little bingo bango. That's a bit much, but I mean, yeah, let's do it. Is that the new one? Which one? Oh, yeah, CRE. CLP, yeah. All right, let's get 10. At least, uh, 15. There we go. Okay. Yeah, naval. Okay, here we go, here we go. We need these guys. Get on the shore, please. Oh, these guys are here. Great, 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 great. All right, so they're going to go. Yeah. Yep. Okay. You'll be a daisy if you do. Just get on shore already. Oh, another convoys. That is. I mean, we got a lot of convoys. I think. <laughs> okay, great. Some more civil warring in China. I mean, what's new, right? Victory. Okay, geez. Wow. A lot of, lot of casualties, though. Let's see. We got. We did pretty well, though. I think. Yeah. I think so. Let's make these guys one fleet, though. All right, and we have our volunteer forces. Volunteer forces still coming back. Yep. Are we making progress over here? Oh boy, we're making progress. All right. Well, I think actually that that's gonna. That's about wrapping up for this episode. So war has broken out. It's crazy in Europe. It's crazy around the world. We're at 42% world uh, flamo meter ish <laughs> level. So it's gonna get really uh, crazy. It looks like we're getting assaulted in the south by Italy. I just noticed that now. Whoops, a daisy. Um, so <sighs> we'll see what happens. I'll see you in the next one. Nous jurons d'être forts et grands pour sauver le pays.